In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use the task recorder to create your step-by-step -step instructions for your content development. Let's go ahead and switch over to my browser. Here you can see I've already got Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operations open. It's important to note that I am using Google Chrome as my browser and I've installed a special extension into my browser to support the capturing of screenshots. This extension is only supported with Google Chrome and not with other browsers. So to get started, I'll click on the settings icon and select Task Recorder. Here I'll click on Create Recording and then I'll give my recording a name. When you're creating new recordings, especially if there are multiple recordings that are similar, you'll want to make sure that you include a detailed recording description. Once you've entered in the detailed description, make sure to select the option to capture screenshots. Again, this option will only be available if you're using Google Chrome and you've installed the extension. So I'll go ahead and click Start. You can optionally start a subtask. This is useful, for example, if you're going to be completing multiple steps or multiple sets of steps. For example, when I create the customer, that could be one subtask, and then adding addresses to my customer might be a second subtask, and adding contacts to my vendor might be a third subtask. This is an optional step and not required. I'm going to go ahead and navigate into the All Customers form. You can do this by clicking on the navigation pane and navigating to it naturally or by searching. The system will automatically record the full steps of exactly where you navigated um, through the search or through natural navigation. So I'm going to go ahead and click New and you can see that as I click the task recorder is recording the detailed steps here. I'll go ahead and enter a customer account number because in my demo data I do not have a number sequence configured. In situations like this you may want to use the edit icon in the task recorder bar to allow you to type in more detailed instructions. Once you're done entering those detailed instructions, you'll want to click OK. This will return you back to the previous screen, and you can see that the icon now has a little comment icon with dots on it rather than a pencil. This indicates that you've added notes or detailed instructions into that particular step. Next, I'll select a customer group. For this example, I'm going to select the domestic customers. And I will also enter in a street address. You can go back and edit any of the previous steps that you've done. So for example, if I want to add more instructions about which customer group they should select, I can use the pencil icon again to add in detailed instructions. When you're ready, you click OK. I'll go ahead and click Save to create this customer. And then once the customer is created, I'll go ahead and stop the recording. So I'll go ahead and click the stop icon. And now I've got a couple of options on how I might want to output my recording. I do strongly recommend that you save your recordings into Lifecycle Services. When you do this, it means that the recording with the step-by-steps you've created will be available from the help um, inside the system for the screen that you're on. For this demonstration, I'm going to export as a Word document. Because I'm using Google Chrome, the downloaded document will appear on my toolbar down at the bottom. And once it's fully downloaded, I can click on that document to open it. 
Here you can see the details, including the screenshots that were captured along the way. Now the system does automatically capture a screenshot for every single click and step, and you may want to consider whether or not that many screenshots are needed in your documentation. I oftentimes recommend using a screenshot at the beginning when you open a new page, like you see here, and then the secondary screenshots are not necessary, and I'll just have the screenshot at the end. So I can enable editing, edit this document, and save it and use it with my content development. Another thing that I strongly recommend is bolding the user interface elements. So the outputted Word document does not do that bolding for you, so you can highlight that text and then make it bold. Anything that you click on in the user interface is best practice to bold. It makes reading those instructions later much easier for the user. I'll go ahead and close this window down and come back. You'll also notice some additional options where I can save this to my PC. If you save the option to your PC, you can go into Lifecycle Services and create a new node in the Business Process Modeler automatically. There's also an option to save as a developer recording. If you're ready to make another recording for another process, you can simply click on Return to Main Menu. And then you will have the ability to uh, start creating a new recording. If you've created a recording and you need to edit that recording, you can do that by using the edit recording icon. When users access your task recordings that you've saved, you can also play them back as a guide or as a recording. Guides are different from recordings in that they require the user to actually click and advance to the next step, whereas when you choose the option to play back recording, the system plays it more like a video and the steps are performed automatically. When you're done with the task recorder, you can simply close the pane and close down all of your windows. I do generally recommend when you're recording task guides that you always close the window and go back to the main menu when you're finished. You might have noticed that I received several notifications about using lookups in my task recordings as well. It's always a best practice when you're using uh, lookups in a task recording that are intended for a task guide or for the regression suite automation tool to always open and select a value from the lookup rather than typing the value in directly. So I'll clear all of my messages and now you've seen how you can use the task recorder to create step-by-steps for your content development.